Hola community, it's Pablo Vasquez. You know what's new in Blender today? It's these two tools for modeling. This has been requested by for, for years by the community. It's snapping support for vertex and edge slide. Yes. So now while you're sliding, for example, if I want to slide this um, this edge, I just press G twice. So G once and then G again to start edge sliding. If I want to snap it or like put it somewhere here, I would just do it by by eye. <laughs> but you can now uh, snap it to, for example, this vertices over here for more precision. I can just go into the snapping options up here in the header, say snap to vertex, turn on snapping, and then just basically just start and snap it to like maybe here or maybe down here. So yeah, it just just works. It, it feels more like a, like a back fix more than a new feature, but it's uh, something that the community has been asking for ages, and it's part of a bigger project regarding snapping. Um, this also works for uh, vertex snapping. So for example, say I have here I don't know like a bunch of subdivisions, and I want to have the um, I don't know I want to slide this vertex to exactly the point between these two vertices. How would I do it? Well, now you can just simply um, use, for example, snapping, and I can turn on the snapping, and then in while I'm um, edge sliding, I can go ahead and say, for example, okay, snap it to this point. I just uh, press A to add a snap point, and then A here, again, with the over this vertex to have another snap point. It's gonna choose the middle point, and you can see here, it's exactly in the middle, I think. Let's let's make a, an edge here. Yes, exactly aligned. So isn't that great? <laughs> this feature is gonna speed up a lot of uh, work and it just uh, was impossible to do otherwise before, it, um, except with add-ons, I guess. Um, now the snapping also works in object mode for the center of these objects of the camera and the um and the and the lights so you can just if you have snapping enabled you can just simply snap to the center of a lamp that wasn't possible before so very very welcome features there is another uh, feature for modelers this is one is uh, regarding the bevel modifier for example if you go and add a bevel modifier you're gonna see now in the new layout you're gonna see that the drop down for width type you can choose offset width depth percent and absolute this is a new one absolute allows you to set in distance the um the the bevel that you want and it's gonna be uh, absolute to the to that mesh so if we go and see the commit logs you can read more here it's a bevel add new absolute mode for interpreting the interpreting the amount value and this mode is like percent, but measures absolute distance along edges and edges instead of a, per a percentage. And that is um, really, really gonna, gonna gonna come handy. I don't have an uh, um, an example right here, but uh, if if you use this modifier, you know what what you are getting. Another feature while we are here, it's in the UI side of the bevel modifier, would allow you to if you use a custom um, here a custom shape for your bevel you're gonna see that now while you add a dot you're gonna have these little points over here these little icons over here what does it mean it means that you can control these points now like if they were curves like the sear curves like curve objects in the viewport and that's awesome because you can also have this kind of points and you see well now i don't have enough segments but if i add some you can see now that you can see the effect in there while you're editing. It makes it so much easier to edit this, these lines and you can do things you couldn't do before except by adding a bunch of points. So very, very neat is way of controlling the points of your custom bevel uh, profiles. 
I hope you like this feature. Uh, it's been uh, it is nice to split off these new features in little small videos. I'm gonna come up with more as the developers keep adding them. You're gonna find this on Blender 2.90, the alpha. So you can go to uh, builder.blender.org or blender.org slash experimental and there you can download the alpha that contains this new feature. Go enjoy, share, report a bug if you find it and uh, have fun. Happy blending. Bye bye. <laughs>